Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk about GitHub Actions and specifically building your applications using multiple operating systems. Here, I'm going to show you how I build my Java application with Maven, but on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, all in the same workflow. In a previous GitHub Actions example, I did a Maven build of a Java project using the Ubuntu latest container. You can see the workflow here. Anytime somebody does a push onto master, we're gonna get the JDK 1.8 involved. We're gonna pull all of our code out of the repository and we're gonna do a Maven build. There's maven-b for batch, package, dash dash file, pom. And then the last step here, just print out all the local environment variables from the Ubuntu image. Now, a lot of people ask me, well, how do you do this on Windows? How might you do this on Mac OS? And it really couldn't be easier. Right now, I've got this one job that runs on Ubuntu and your runner is associated with the container that you're working. But let's say I wanted to also do this on Windows. I wanted to also do it on Mac. Well, all I have to do is, well, I'm gonna edit this file. I'm gonna get rid of this line that says there's only one job because there's gonna be multiple jobs. Um, but what we do is we, I can just copy all of this here. And so that gets copied. And then underneath this, I'll throw a few carriage returns in there. Underneath this, I'll click paste. And then instead of run on Ubuntu, I think it's got a little bit of a formatting error right there. So I'm gonna just change that a little bit. And instead of run on Ubuntu, it's gonna be run on Windows. And instead of Ubuntu, Ubuntu latest, it's gonna be Windows latest. And then we can do the exact same thing again. We just do it differently. I'll paste in this entire job but instead of build on Windows, it's gonna be build on Mac OS, and we use the Mac OS latest. And there we go, I think that all looks good. Now I do always worry that when I copy and paste, sometimes, sometimes my formatting gets out of shape a little bit. So I'm just gonna take a quick look at that, but yeah, there we go. Now we've just run it, gonna run this on three different operating systems. And also at the end of each of these, notice step four is printing out the environment variables. This is kind of neat because it'll show us the different setup for the environment variables in contrast with Ubuntu, Windows, and Mac OS. Mac OS and Ubuntu might be pretty similar. Windows will be quite a bit different. So I'll go over here to actions. Actually, I'm just going to take a look and see if I got any punitive red marking on here, but it looks like it doesn't dislike my YAML file too much. I'll click on update main YAML. And that's where it's running. And you notice I've got these three jobs queued. Now they're actually running, one, two, three. The other cool thing about multiple jobs is they run at the same time. They run in parallel, not in sequence. So um, it speeds things up just a little bit. And each of those threes will run. And when these are run, I've actually successfully built my Maven project on all three. I'm actually gonna take a quick look at Ubuntu here. Let's step three was doing the actual maven build and i'll probably see a whole bunch of stuff just referencing maven central in there yeah there we go you're familiar with that if you're a java developer and then right at the bottom we should see all of the different tests running and the compile running and it looks like everything is successful there so i'm happy with that and then now we get the environment variables and you notice that these environment variables are all based on the ubuntu image as you could imagine and yeah, it looks like there's user, local. Um, the Mac OS, I don't know how much different the Mac OS is gonna look. You can go in here, notice the OS runner is called Mac OS. It's like an uppercase U instead of a lowercase U. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get too excited about that difference there, but it does show you the different uh, configurations, the different environment variables that we see in the Mac OS. Certainly, uh, certainly these uh, variables have different values, although the variable name should be mostly the same. It looks like our Windows build is lagging behind just a, a little bit. I think it's now done. And we can come over here, take a look at the environment variables. And now you'll notice that, yeah, all of these are environment variables based on the Windows paths. And we can still see in here, this GitHub uh, build, this Maven build through GitHub Actions, it was all successful. And so we now know that if we do the build on Mac, if we do the build on Ubuntu, or if we do the build on Windows, we're going to have success either way. And there you go. That's how you can run your builds on multiple operating systems. 
And there you go, that's how easy it is to incorporate Windows, Max, and Ubuntu into your GitHub Actions. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, DevOps, enterprise software development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.